Hi, welcome to PT Dance Educational Videos. Today we're going to be comparing two different types of exercises. A compound movement versus an isolation movement. The difference between the two is quite simple. A compound movement is a multi-joint movement. Therefore, it requires multiple joint exercises. An isolation movement is where just one joint is moving. And therefore, it's a type of exercise that just isolates one muscle. Now, how does that work? Well, if a compound movement uses multiple joints, you must be using multiple muscles to move multiple joints. So a classic example would be the bench press. When you do a bench press, you've got your chest moving and you've got your elbow moving. Two joints, therefore multiple muscles. Your chest is responsible for the movement at your shoulder and your triceps are responsible for the movement at your elbow. As another secondary muscle also comes into play, such as the anterior head of your deltoid, to assist your pectoralis major in moving your shoulder joint. The other exercises we've got are isolation movements, such as a chest fly. This is where you've only got one joint moving. So when you're doing a chest fly, the only joint that's moving is your shoulder joint. Therefore, there must be predominantly one muscle moving. In this case, it isolates your pectoralis major. The question is this. If you want to get bigger and stronger and more toned and have a more complete body at a faster speed, which exercises should you be doing? That's right, compound movements. Because you've got multiple muscles working and then therefore you're going to get a better workout. It's as simple as that. You don't want to ever be doing isolation movements unless you've got one part of your body that's lagging behind and you need that one particular muscle to catch up to all the others. So if a lot of guys, for example, if they just be, are a beginner workout, intermediate or the advanced person or the female as well, and they just want to gain some serious size, always go into compound movements. But I get a lot of people who love isolating triceps, biceps, and their arms get really big and their torso stays quite small. So their arms get really big, but the chest is really quite small. They want to look nice in a singlet, but if you take your singlet off, they look like crap because their arms are really big and they've got nothing here in the middle in the middle of the torso. So if you want the chest to now catch up to the arms, now you've got to get away from doing a bench press and start doing more flies. Try to isolate one spot. If you go straight into your compound movements, trying to build up your chest, since it is a primary muscle, it's still not going to work very efficiently because your secondary muscles in a bench press, such as your anterior deltoid triceps, they're going to take all the workload. So your chest is hardly, it's going to never catch up. So in that case, you need isolation movements. Isolation movements are also really good for injuries because it targets one specific muscle to strengthen that one specific muscle. Um, so try and stay away from isolation movements unless you want to target one muscle to let it catch up or if you're injured. Apart from that, always try and stick to your compound movements. If you stick with your compound movements, you will get bigger, stronger, faster at a faster speed. So stick with your compound movements. The other great bonus to doing compound movements is that your brain and your neurosystem recognizes the fact that you've got multiple joints moving and therefore you actually produce twice as much growth hormone, IGF-1 and testosterone. And when all these big hormones are being produced in your body, you will now recover from your workout at a much, much faster speed. So not only are you going to be using more muscles and you're going to get a better workout, but you will actually grow at a faster speed, not only because you're using more muscles, but because you're producing more natural hormones that will recover your body at a faster speed. Um, so that's my tip for today. Uh, this is the difference between compound and isolation movements. Enjoy your next workout.